for a long time it was just me, my dad, and Cora. Um, and it was okay, life was okay, we were surviving. But personally, I'd rather live than survive. There was still something missing. And when I met Carmen, and I saw how my father and Carmen got along, I knew that she was the missing element. I want to thank you for being my second mother. And Dad, I want to thank you for being my best friend. Thanks. Today, I'm here to actually congratulate Carmen and Carmen on their union. And my prayer and my plea is that the Lord would bless them and be in this union all the days of their life. I, I also would like to welcome you, Carmen, into our family. You, you've had a little glimpse of who we are. We are very, very augmented to, especially somebody that you you don't know very well, and you you will soon get to know him. And uh, and Carmen, to you, and you've seen how. I've loved your mother, I've taken care of her, and I hope that you could do the same to come, that you'd love her, and that you'd protect her at all costs. Um, when she opens her big eyes at you, don't open yours, keep them shut, you know. But I pray that the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ mm. will keep you, will keep both of you until the day he comes. I just wanted to say um, congratulations to the happy couple, Mr. and Mrs. Goldstone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sad that I couldn't be there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to say congratulations. I love you, Carvin, so much. My only brother that I've ever had. And Carmen, it was absolutely amazing to get to, uh, to meet you when you came to London. I literally instantly felt a connection to you <laughs> and I felt super safe with you and you're just amazing and so sweet and I'm so happy that Colvin got to meet you because you're amazing, you're such an asset and um, I don't have a sister but that changed today because now I have a sister. Whoop, whoop. Um, congratulations guys. I want to start off by saying that Carmen, you look absolutely, stunningly beautiful today. And of course, I'm prejudiced, I'm her mom. But I want to congratulate Carmen and Carvin on their marriage. And I want to welcome Carvin, Jaikin and Cara to our family. So when we got to the settling down phase of our lives, when, asked, when Carmen was asked the question, um, Will you ever get married? And her response and facial expression was simple. Me? Never. Did I get it right? <laughs> so I have to pose this question to Carvin. What moody did you put on my friend to make her change her mind? <laughs> so on a serious note, Carmen, your love for God and your solid foundation has grounded you in many ways. And for that, I'd like to thank Auntie Linda and Uncle Morris for raising such a well-founded being. Your laugh, my friend, is loud. Contagious, infectious, and penetrating. <laughs> May you and Carvin learn to laugh through all the seasons of your marriage. I know that you love hard, and I know that you will continue to love with all that you have. So Carvin, please be prepared to be smothered and drenched with a heart that is ever so pure. Carbon, throughout the phases and stages that Carmen and I have journeyed through, I've never seen my friend so settled, so at peace and truly in love. I see, the, I see the way you love her. Your eyes don't hide how dear she is to you. And I want to say thank you for taking and loving her just as she is without any reservation. Everybody moves when you dance It's like an ocean wave It's got me in a magnetic trance That I can't escape Even when I close my eyes I feel you breathe next to me It's everything
galaxy of stars written on my heart. You're a lighthouse on the sea, every note a symphony. You're the rising of the sky, bringing colors back.